is down to 1.11, and our source is 7.69. So here we go. So here goes the source. Crank down a little resistance, get her going. Sorry, i got to crank it up, and then it actually works. So I'm going to turn off the light a bit. Doesn't help, does it? There. And I don't know if you can see the flashing, but it's not that great. You can probably see it a little bit. I gotta crank it up to keep it going. And as you can see, oh, I forgot to hook up the cranking it to get that as you can probably see the bulb now pay attention to the volts the more it increases that means it's going to die so you crank it up again the resistance and let it gain speed bring it back down until you get a high voltage that you can stabilize so there that looks good the uh, there's the neon bulb. That's if I go by the light, then uh, it seems to work alright, I guess, at this point. So let's hook up the battery. Dead. Oh, gotta crank it up because she's going to die, I think. Yeah, there she goes. Gotta crank it up again and bring it down. So what I was doing to charge that one from 0 0.7 to 3, whatever, and it seems to have stuck, is uh, find the voltage where I can balance it out and then adjust it as the fan was dying. So crank it back up again. Slowly bring it down to a stable voltage. And it seems to be fluctuating a lot more. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Didn't fluctuate this much uh, on the big circuit. going across the posts here. So one's on the source positive, one's on the charge positive. And there it is. That's where we're at for the charge battery. That's how much it's taken in. It seems to be working now. Go figure. My source battery will die within about 15 minutes, and it is already 4 in the morning, about oh, 3.30, time for me to go to bed, so this should be enough food for thought for now, and yeah, we'll touch base later, hopefully, talk to you later, good night. That's another thing I guess I should quickly bring that up is uh it's it's strange when I tried to balance out the uh the reading to have it fluctuate between point zero one volts up and down at two constant numbers like for example thirty nine and forty um eventually the system quickly dropped to thirty eight thirty seven if the motor was going to die. And if it started to spin out of the sweet spot, then it would just start rapidly increasing to 4.6, 4.8, that kind of thing. So I, I had to manually adjust it just to get it to charge that battery and try and stay at that. At that time, it was 4.6.
So we'll talk to you later. Hope this helps, and thanks again for all your efforts. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.